This is going to be a tough play. Play it. The Cubs win the World Series. The Cubs have finally won it all. They love Mookie so much, and they love him even more when he does that. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, it's a dream come true. A tremendous home run for Juan Soto. 20 years old and just bursting with power. A world championship. Curly W is in the books. And it's good. Mookie bats all over it. Dodgers have won it all in 2020. <laughs> Wonderful images of some great young players. Notable players in this World Series appearing. So Garrett Cole back in 2019. Solo, of course, you just saw in that montage. And Rizzo back with the Cubs in 2016. For the Dodgers, they got plenty of guys, right? Mookie's been there a couple of times. Freddie Freeman, Max Muncy a couple of times. Kiki, three previous World Series appearances. And Will Smith in 2020 as well. So you always get this question about the importance of experience versus being a newbie. Generally speaking, Mike, I think it helps to have had that experience. But you've had personal experiences where it didn't necessarily matter. You know, I was, on, I was lucky enough to be on two World Series teams. And with the Marlins, you're going up against the mighty Yankees. Basically, the core of that team had been the World Series since 98, yep. right? And you look at there, and I think Pudge was the only guy that had any postseason or World Series experience on the team. Zero, like zero cry. Here we go. This is unbelievable. <laughs> World Series experience across the board. He Lee. And then you add, I, I'd add Brad Penny to that, who started, I think, games one and four or one and five. And, and you're, we didn't feel like it was a disadvantage. To a certain degree, maybe you're so young and dumb that you don't let it affect you. Yeah. Now, on the flip side, when I was with the Red Sox, I think it was a cautionary tale because we were going up against Colorado, who a lot of guys did not have World Series experience. I said, hey, don't we can't take that lightly because you're drawing on your past experience from the 03 team. So this was a much more, um, let's say, experienced team from especially Manny and David, Josh and I obviously with the Marlins. But then you look at the bottom three, it was Dice K. It was Lester Pedroia. I throw Jacoby Ellsbury in there because he played center field and, you know, hit ninth. I go, those four guys were huge for us in the World Series with zero experience. So some, I, I think it is a little bit case by case the mentality of that player. Some guys have a good idea of how to slow the heart rate down and how to really channel in, you know, make this part of the regular season and eliminate the distractions. I would say the only time lows where I think it might make a huge effect is a young guy who is a high leverage reliever because you don't have the ability to ease yourself into that situation. You're coming in, you are amped up, and sometimes the, the two hitters you face are do or die for that inning. Right. We saw it a little bit in the postseason with the Dodgers. I think it was Enriquez who came in. Yeah. Couldn't find the strikes. He's got great stuff in his, his second outing. He was lights out. So that's the only time where I think that's where maybe bullpen coach, veteran relievers out there, Got to coach these guys a little bit because two, three pitches, two at-bats could be the difference between one game or not, especially these high-leverage guys. Experience is overrated. There it is. Period. I mean, if you think about it, you need to utilize context, right? And the makeup of a player matters. When we look at Juan Soto, the first time he was in the World Series, he was lights out, just coming big hit after big hit, right? And then, of course, if you've been there before, then you can also use that to your advantage. But right here, this guy was going black at the left and right. No problem whatsoever, 19 years old. So if you're talking about experience, he didn't have any, yet he was arguably the most impactful player on that roster. So I reiterate, experience is overrated. And, and I'll say this, Adnan, for the World Series experience, every single one of these guys now has gone through two rounds of playoffs. True. So it, it's still do or die. Now I know the World Series is the bigger and biggest stage, but there is that feeling of game one, I want to do well, pressure situations, high leverage situations. So. I think those guys, if you're going to draw off anything, draw off the most recent experience that you had, yeah. where both, got, both teams and individual guys were very successful. And to your point, high leverage reliever, if he gets you that first appearance, all of a sudden then the emotions. Oh, yeah, they down. take off. Same thing for the hatter. Hit her. First knock, I feel good. Oh, you go one for one. You're, right you're again, feeling I'm right, good. baby. I like this World Series. Yeah. <laughs> how, how about at Lowe's? What about guys playing in their home state? Judge from California, Cole Calford. Does that matter at all? No, not really. I mean, if anything, these guys here, they feed off pressure. I mean, I've heard many players talk about, you know, Carl Crawford was one of them. Mm. He, you know, he would be in batting practice, you know, hit a ball, and it would get to the warning track. And Carl Crawford used to say, hey, with a little bit of pressure, that's a home run. <laughs> so, uh, he welcomed good. the pressure. <laughs> you know, and I think a lot of athletes are like that. When the lights are on and the pressure is at its highest, that adrenaline will help. that's uh, when adrenaline, they play yeah. 
at its best. How did you find with your World Series experience with the Rays specifically in 08? Yeah, I was the opposite, right? Like, for me, I like to slow things down. I diffuse the moment. So that was my mechanism. That's why it's, it is definitely a case-by-case, -case, uh, you know, uh, that's the way you got to do it. You have to look at the makeup of the player. Yeah, it really depends on the heartbeat of the player. That's the best way to pin it. I, I think so. I, I, my two experiences were very different. In 03, I broke my hand, so I missed September. So I was just trying to have good at-bats. Mm -hmm. I still feel I was... I was, like, easing my way into the lineup. In 07, to diffuse, like, to use Carlos's term, I, I tried to tell myself, why should the postseason be different from the regular season? I had a good regular season. And you, you almost, it's self-talk. It's positive reinforcement. It's all those things. It's mentally putting yourself in the situation that you were during the season to hopefully succeed. Just try to reciprocate that. Now, there's butterflies. There's of things. That, it's, it's a matter of, of yeah. channeling it down. It's normal to have it. There's difference between anxiety and excitement. Mm -hmm. They channel the same things well in, inside. And speaking of expectations, Los, I would argue for the Dodgers, there's more pressure on them. The amount of people who say, okay, they won a World Series, but that was in that COVID 2020. You guys really haven't won one since 88. I think they've got more pressure on them than the New York Yankees. Agree? Uh, no. <laughs> Yankees still more pressure because they're the Yankees. Do you know, Eden, if you do not win a World Series yeah. and, and you're a Yankee, it's a failure. Right. Now, you Even do, if you're the underdog in this World Series, it, I believe the, they are. I, th that, is, that, that word right there does not apply to these two clubs. <laughs> they, how can you, these guys, okay, yeah. listen, the Yankees uh, in, in the industry, $7 billion organization. You look at the Dodgers, the second most, right? Yeah. North of $4 billion. You cannot say, none of these teams are underdogs. Yeah. <laughs> It would feel weird to think of the Yankees, the, the cunning little underdog getting in the World Series. We shall see in this titanic battle.